Hey Magic Queen on YouTube, T1 Glistener Elf here. <laughs> hey Magic Community. <laughs> hey Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glistener Elf here with Merfolk. This is Collected Merfolk. It's a revision from the last time that I played it, and I'll be jamming it in the FNM event, which is just historic. That's it, just a regular historic uh, event on MTG Arena here. Uh, the big change is that I have four copies of Negate. The last time that I played Merfolk, I was honestly kind of tilted by uh, losing a bunch of matches in a row uh, because Wrath of God is a card. That, that's not the only reason, but that was huge. Uh, when I first played after Amonkhet Remastered was released, Merfolk still was great, and actually mine got way better because I had Collected Company. And then, as people had more wild cards that they could spend and optimize their decks, uh, Wrath of God got to be ubiquitous, and that's a problem when you're playing a go-wide creature deck that isn't, say, like Goblins, where you can get haste and win on one turn. Uh, so unfortunately, I need Negate. Uh, it, it is a little bit of a nombo with Collected Company, because of course it's not a creature, uh, but there's still a decent number of hits. When we look at our list, when we uh, check out the analyst, it's 30. We still have 30 creatures, so that means that a given Collected Company is going to see three creatures. That's usually good enough. Uh, now, Bendic Biomancer could be a four of, as you, as you can see, and maybe it should be, but I'm preferring to go a little bit higher on the curve, because one of the ways that you can maximize the value you get from Collected Company is to get your creatures closer to 3 in CMC. Um, if you play a Coco and you get a 1 CMC and a 3 CMC creature, that's not as much value as two 3 CMCs, for instance. And that's true in general. Obviously, for a given card, it may not be. Benthic Biomancer also doesn't do much when it enters the battlefield. Uh, it doesn't do anything when it enters the battlefield. And then if you have some spare mana, you can use it to filter through your deck. So it's, it's pretty good as a top deck, but it's not necessarily what you would like to see when you play Collected Company. Instead, I have a few other cards that I've added. So Brazen Borrower gets to fill both the uh, interaction and 3-1 and creature roles. I can still hit it with Coco. It's not a Merfolk, unfortunately. But it's sort of a necessary evil. It gives me something that I can do against problem permanence um, while still being a creature and a blocker if need be, albeit only for creatures with flying. Uh, then we have Kira Great Glass Spinner. I've seen some people, Nikachu, run a couple Kira, and I, I don't know that that's necessarily right. Kira is, of course, legendary. Uh, Kapala is legendary. Kapala's ability is usually not considered as good uh, because abilities that are activated to target a merfolk you control cost two more to activate, sure, but Planeswalkers, if they if you let your opponent untap with them, they'll have the two mana for that, and it doesn't work on triggers. Whereas Kira is just whenever this creature becomes the target of a spell or ability for the first time each turn. So that actually does work on triggers. Cool, seems good. When you put the two of them together, then you get to let their effects overlap with one another, and you can hit them both off Coco, you don't have to worry about, oh, I found two Kira. I, I guess I'll pick that one, <laughs> you know. You actually get to have both. I think that it's, uh, only having two non-Merfolk is probably right. We could actually run even more non-Merfolk, uh, additional copies of these. Uh, but I think that this is probably fine. Other than that, that means, by the way, that we have 28 Merfolk in the deck. So two Bindic Biomancer, four Kaminus Speaker, and as always, 1080p and pause if you need to take a look at these. Uh, four Merfolk Trickster, or Flash one, uh, 48. Four Silver Girl Adept, four Merfolk Branch Walker, four Merfolk Mistbinder, Brazen Kira, Kapala, Miro Regery, and one Water Trap Weaver, which could be another Bendic Biomancer, but this is, again, pushing me close to 3 CMC, and it's something that I might actually really like to see. Uh, off of Coco. It's kind of a fifth Merfolk Trickster, if you want to think of it that way. It taps an, an opponent's creature down. The mana is more flexible, uh, but it's also 3 CMC uh, at the same body. It's a 2-2. Two -two. Uh, but it keeps them tapped down for a little bit longer. So off of Coco, it taps them down. Uh, just on my, on my main phase, it taps them down, and it keeps them held down for a little while. And that can be important when coming across bigger creatures, or even just decks that run a few big creatures instead of going wide like mine is. 
Uh, so that's why I'm running the, the Water Trap Weaver there instead. It could be something else, but I really, really would like to keep the Four Negates in here. Uh, I think that that's uh, probably essential right now. As the, as the meta goes. You know, Wrath of God, Kaya's Wrath, Bontu's Last Reckoning, all of those. Anger of the Gods, Storm's Wrath, Languish, just wreck us. And so we need to have answers, and that's how I'm going about it. <laughs> Alright, so let's not do a bot match. Why? <laughs> that was testing out another deck. You'll see that at some point. <laughs> That's not just regular land destruction. It's not what I've been running. It's a, it's a brew. That's why it's against a bot. Alright, but I'll, I'll choose my deck. Collected Merfolk. Submit. And let's play. Let's get it on. Uh, butter, pecan, coffee. It's black, so it's not like I added any flavor packs or whatnot. To flavor packs. Whatever. Creamer to it. And it's very strong on the butter. Mmm. It's the kumite. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. You know what? I'm gonna keep this for the meme. This is terrible. Don't actually do this in, in, in real life, folks. But I'm keeping it for the meme. <laughs> Why? Okay, okay. We got to do something. Uh, you know what? I'm going to hide what we're running for right now. And pass it right along. Alright, let's see. Pelt Collector! Woo! Save it. Yeah, let's let's pass. Still waiting. Ah, right, here we go. Ooh! Ooh! Huh. Okay. That's fine. I mean, it's not. That's terrible, but we'll make it work. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, no, it wouldn't have made a difference. Alright, that's fine. Alright. We just, we need to buy a turn. So this is not something you should actually keep. Please, for the love of all things good and holy, do not keep that hand. But, I, uh, I wanted to. Alright. So I have a sneaking suspicion that they're just going to play it right back. So the negate isn't really all that interesting. This is going to be a 3-3 pelt collector, though, and that's a problem. And yes, the pause on the unclaimed territory was, I have enough colored mana, should I just meme on them? But no. No, I should not. Ape. Eldrazi. Lurgoyf. Uncle Istvan. He's a human, but originally it was like, summon Uncle Istvan. Alright. Ow. Oh, what? Prey upon? Or are we just going to fight? No blocks. Ow. Alright. Yeah, we have a problem. <laughs> we drew all the cards I added to the deck. Uh, okay. Let's do this again. We have a problem. Oh. Okay. Oh boy. Yeah. They're going to have another creature anyway, so I won't be able to do anything to this. But the ore dies is a problem. The ore dies part. I also don't have any additional ways to bounce it in the deck, other than Brazen Borrower. We're just kind of dunskies on that. Um, Mono Green Stompy is not a matchup you want to see three negates in. Spoiler alert. Oh, yeah, if by playing Kira, I left myself not having... Uh, not having enough for negate. What the heck? What did that do? Plus X plus X, then it fights up to one target creature you don't control. Oh, it, it popped Kira. That's right. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, no, we have to take this. Unfortunately, we do. Uh... <laughs> this doesn't count. This one does not count. Alright, you know what? Uh, I'm pretty sure 
my my stipulation for this is that I just need to cast what is it, green and blue spells? Then I'm just going to concede. <laughs> All right, I actually should check that out. I should see what I need to... I, I think it's green and white or green and blue, one of the two. What I need to cast for this. Get some coffee in the meantime. Okay, that one doesn't count. That was entirely a meme. In my defense, I recognized that I needed to not keep the triple negate hand, and I did it anyway. All right. So let's see. Oh, white or green? Okay. This, this is fine. We'll stop. Oh, <laughs> fours of habit. All right. All right. So real, real hand. Hopefully, don't do that, folks. Spare yourself the uh, the trouble. You're not going to win that. If you do, wow, the triple negate hand. But that, not that matchup, certainly. All right. That is one of the dangers of mainboard negate. Sometimes it just does nothing. Americo Crepucci? I, okay, so I remember Amerigo Vespucci. Is that a reference to that, or is there someone else? Oh, dear. Hmm. I guess, I don't know. My, my guess is that it's just a reference to Vespucci. Okay. So, unless we can draw... Oh, hi. That's fine. Yeah, no, that's not good. So we'll play a temple out first. Oh geez, um, it's actually not even bad, but I, I need to dig for some- well, no, I have two lords in hand, so speaker is okay. I have no islands, but once I get a merfolk out, it'll get bigger. So we'll keep that, actually. Okay, here goes. hi yo. I'm assuming this is goblins. I'm assuming that maybe it's cavalcade. Oh, burn. Okay. Whale. Whale. Uh, let's just get out two merfolk. I think that that's probably correct. They'll buff each other. And then on the next turn, I'll have a Mistbinder. I really, really do not want to get Mistbinder out yet, because it can die. Now, uh, one weakness, though, is that they can kill a speaker, and now it's it's back to being a 1-1 one -one because I don't have an island. And I won't for some time, I, I suspect. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Interesting. I will not offer the trade here. If they if they try, I will not offer the trade. Oh, hello. Oh my goodness. Ow. Yeah, you get a nice for that. Okay, well, in that case... Oh, but we don't have the mana for Weaver. Okay. Uh, Temple of Mystery first. Collected Company. Ooh, this is going to be really late. Because I won't be able to play it on curve. Hinterland Harbor will come in tapped. I still have to, though. Jeez, wow. Okay. Uh, huh. That's okay, because next turn I'll play Water Trap Weaver. I'll have a 3-2, and that'll block the Firebrand. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. And then Weaver will tap down Chain Whirler. Hopefully I'll just take 3 here. And they still haven't found their castle yet. Uh, which I appreciate, thank you. Wait. Okay. And this was to... yep. Okay, each opponent and each creature in Planeswalker. Okay. Let's see. If they're still thinking... Steamkin now. Okay. Not after combat. Alright, gets a counter. Take 2, 14, attack. Go to 11. I'm at 11. Because of first strike, I can't block. Two cards in hand. Three after draw. Steamkin at a 3-3. Three, three. Okay. Alright. Yes, please. Oh, boy. I think this 
<laughs> the strategy for me is going to have to be play defense until I can get this Coco and these Lords online and just kind of go from there. So I'm not attacking. I am fully suspecting that Steamkin and Pyromancer will attack. Hmm. Steamkin uh, won't attack if it's only a 2 2, though. There's more value to be gained. But they will have something else. <sighs> hmm. And thankfully, everything so far is outside of Fanatical Firebrand range. Oh! Oh, okay. That's cool. You're cool, dude. <laughs> no, really, that was that was good. Okay. We're gonna get one turn with this. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I take seven, go to four. I don't think I can win this. I'm pretty sure that I cannot. Let's find out. Crossing fingers, hidden dragon. So tricksters would be really nice. Merfolk trickster times two would probably be about as good as I'm going to get. Uh, tap down chain whirler steamkin. Alright, pass, because I have to. Well, I don't have to, but no, I do. Uh, Miss Binder, Branch Walker. At biggest, Branch Walker would be a 4 3, but the first strike would still get me. Alright, let's find out. Moment of truth. You're mono red. What are you. Dude, what are you going to do? Oh boy. Okay, so we have Trickster. Regery, I guess? Oh, we're dead. Oh, we're dead with this. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I see that. I see that. Hmm. Yeah, let's try it. Let's try it. Okay. That hurts. At least this doesn't have first strike. It doesn't matter, though. That was, that was incorrect. Alright. So, Trickster blocks Pyromancer, Regery blocks Steamkin, take one. And then Trickster and Regery die, because the Lord will go away. Oh. No, you're attacking with both, right? Come on. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Kills Pyromancer. There's not much that saves me. Another Coco would be nice. Ah! Ow. Uh, you know what? Let's cast a couple more since we're working on a green quest. Sure, why not? <laughs> and then we're done. Okay, that obviously felt significantly closer than the Triple Negate game, but uh, that wasn't ideal. We didn't find the proper suite of lands. Uh, temple can be a problem. Unfortunately, Temple does not turn on Hinterland Harp, but it makes both of your colors, and in a deck that has enough green cards and it has Merfolk Trickster, I am valuing that probably more than I should. Natunko, okay. Natunko? Hmm. Okay. So let's see. Hi, Goose. Goose is loose. I can't see Gilded Goose and not say the Goose is loose. It's it's one of the T1 listener of bylaws. That's just how it works. Alright, mine's done. Oh boy. Oh boy. Mono green ramp, I guess. <laughs> Oh, no, wait. Well, I haven't seen any red, so I'm assuming that's what it is, but I don't know. Uh, okay. Let's play a branch walker here. We could play tri- oh, you know what? We could play trickster to slow them down. No, it doesn't matter because they have one food token, so then the other goose could just use it instead. I could have attacked first. 
I could have attacked first and then threatened to use Benthic Biomancer's ability. Ah. Uh... Okay, Nessa. Okay. Hmm. No blocks. Ow. Okay. I am misplaying pretty, pretty badly at this point. I can tell, I can feel it. I can feel it happening. So here, let's play the Reachery out. Have this swing at Nyssa. Alright, please block him with the Frest. No, not the Goose, please not- ah, okay. Okay. We can make this work, but it's not ideal. So, because we have the Trickster in hand, Tricksters, but we won't be able to play both now. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Alright, that hits Lord. No, it doesn't. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Man, what I would do for a Wrath to just wipe out their land base, their mana base. Okay. Um, things I can do. Merfolk Mistbinder, untap one of my lands. Trickster, tap down two creatures, swing for... swing to kill one of them. I can actually do Regery first. So I can go... Forest, Regery, untap... Trickster, tap, tap, tap. Okay, that's good. That's good. There we go. And that'll tap all three of them. I believe that this is correct. This is the right course of action. Alright. Tap. Let's see. Doesn't really matter here, I guess, but... One. Two. So, which one's more important to get rid of? It's Nyssa, right? I can see this one going either way, though, to be honest. Either way, they're going to get extra creatures, and that's a problem. Um, hmm. This would severely hamper their lands, though. But actually, this one... Oh, jeez. I don't know that there's a right answer here. Okay. Nissa makes creatures that are bigger, and I'm not worried about giving about Ugin giving them extra cards, because we're about to tap them down anyway. But that does set them back a bit on their mana. Hopefully. Trickster keeps them from attacking. Ooh, okay. Okay. What do you have? Okay, we don't actually win this turn then. That's a bit of a shame. Oh, never mind, we do. Okay, so Mistbinder taps down 1, 2. Trickster taps down 1, 2, 3. So actually, we did win that turn. We did, because we had two Regeries. A Regery, each one taps down once. We have two creatures to do it, so two times two. Uh, and then one extra, two times two, plus one from the Trickster itself. Allure of the Unknown. It's the top six cards of your library. Okay. Um, sure, I guess I can brew around that. Sure. Hmm. Okay. 
Let me, let me think about that a bit more. Alright, let's keep going. Maybe if for another like FNM All Access event, uh, I will try to jam that. Sure. A bit of awkwardness between Forest and Trickster, but you do what you have to do, I guess. I guess I should play the territory first. It gives away that I'm on Merfolk, but then if I happen to find a blue source, I can play the Trickster next turn. It at least leaves that as an option. And Forest isn't going to come in tapped anyway, so it's alright, it'll work out. At least here's to hoping. Which is Cauldron? Oh boy. Is this the, is this the skeleton deck? Alright, well, maybe we'll find a land. If not, we'll just keep... We'll play another Mistbinder and just hope that we get there. <laughs> just cords. Cords everywhere. It's one cord. Four cords. Hmm. Oh no. Hmm. Let's try this out. If at all possible, I'd like to not put my Miss Binder at risk just yet. Oh, okay. There's the splash. Hmm. Invasion. Okay. Kill it with fire. And please find more blue. Hey, there you are. You guys got to get to watch me smack my nose. Alright, so now we have the blue for uh, Merfolk Trickster. Maybe it's an army deck. I have no idea. Itchy nose. Good grief. Alright. Proliferate shenanigans. Um, maybe we'll find some more army makers. I love army. Woohoo! Alright. So for anyone who's not a member of the Smash community, uh, army is a professional ice climbers player who... Ha Somebody decided to make a uh, parody account. Oh, what's this? Interesting. A parody account uh, called Let's Go Army Woo. Ah, uh, I can get them so close. If I had one more man, I could I could take him out this turn. So let's go. I could do Trickster just to tap it down. No. Let's let's just play out the Lord again. I have a sneaking suspicion that this will be better. Alright, can I feel the unsummon coming? Nope. Not yet. Alright, Bontu's Last Reckoning. This is a deck I know for a fact that can play Bontu's Last Reckoning. Oh. Ah you jerk. Hey, you do what you have to do. You don't want to. You don't want to lose. I don't either. All right. Is a tiny little problem, unfortunately, but I think we can make this work. All right. Oh, they're just going to kill it, and I don't want to lose the Mogus favor because then they can just play it back themselves. All right. This will put them to one, and then they'll have to attack with Luris to get the life link. Oh, wait, where do they gain life? I missed it. I missed it. Where do they gain life? Let's see, four went down to two. From... No, 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 they didn't. They didn't. They blocked. That's right. That's right. They were at four and they blocked. Ooh. Nice. I can't block. No block. Alright. So they've already played their one. No blocks. Puts them up to six. 
And then Archfiend's Vessel. Ah, come on, can I catch a break? Yes, I can. No, I can't. It's, it's not on time. All right. So I can go Adept, draw a card, Trickster. Hmm. All right, let's see what I get. I have to be really careful because that Archfiend's Vessel, it, let's see, so I can, I can return Lurus to hand, that'd be interesting, uh, or I could use Merfolk Trickster to tap down Archfiend's Vessel, yeah, that's what I'll do. Block, go to five. Um, yeah, I still need to just attack with this with the one speaker. Alright. I I would think that they would block here. They get another creature back anyway. Yeah, okay. Aha, uh -huh, okay. And then they go back to six. Okay. Hateful Eidolon. Ooh. Ooh. And I played that from the grave, so that's it for that. And they also used up the mana, so they can't do it again. They could have killed the Silver Yule Adept. Uh, Kaya's Ghost Form makes this awkward. Turn it to the battlefield under your control. Now, we have Brazen Barber. Let's wait. Although, they are really starting to crank it back up, unfortunately. Coco would be good. Hey, speak of the devil. Speak of the devil. So alternatively, I could go brazen. I could go Murphug Branchwalker, brazen borrower, and then do that next turn. Coco next turn. I think that's probably better. All right, let's see what I get. Regery. Yeah, that sounds good. I can even put a stop on my upkeep just to make sure I find a Regery. Not that it matters too much. Well, it might. Okay, so let's see. Um, definitely want to go to combat first. Don't I? Um, oh, this is, this is awkward. I have to be really careful about this. Whatever I... I with, they're going to try to block with Archvane's Vessel. Be able to cast Lurus in the... Ah, oh, no, I have to... I have to hold off. Do have to hold off here. Oh, this doesn't get any better if I keep waiting, though. But they're definitely... No matter what I do, they're getting a demon out. Coming up. Alright, no attacks... In turn. Okay. Ah, okay. I should have seen that coming. I really should have seen that coming. Alright. Cast it. Cast it from your grave. I dare you. I dare you. Because then when I bounce it, it'll just be gone. Well, until they do it next turn. Do the same thing next turn. Oh, or we could do dead weight. Um, this is interesting. So, do I let it die? I guess I could just let it die. Uh, alternatively, I could put it back in my hand, you see. That's, that's one of the reasons you, you may not want to do what I just did. Unfortunately. I have to be really careful about that. Please, oh, just Lurus? Okay. Yay. Alright, so Lurus is going to get cast right back, but can't put Kaya's Ghost Form on it yet. Oh, 
wait, they can't... Oh, I thought that they had played one from the grave. They had not. Okay. Hey, it works. They played it from their hand. My bad. I missed that. I'm so used to them doing that first, but that makes sense. Alright. Let's see what we can get. Get our hands on. Ah, oh, That's all. Whale. Right on time, Negate. Right on time. Not that it matters too much in this matchup, to be fair. Okay, they don't have the mana to sack the Archfiend's Vessel yet, but they can just do it on their turn. Yeah, no matter what, I am just stuck here. I should, I should keep playing it out, but this is not getting any better as it goes on. Um, if I just attack there, they'll block with the vessel and then just get it back and then get a 5-5 five five next turn, which is not the end of the world. I'll be able to block it with Brazen Borrower. Yeah, as expected. That is so many cards to which they have access. Good grief. Hmm. Well, Ghost Form is doing a lot of work here. Yeah, I, I can't block still. Yeah, they just get to kill a creature every turn. This is this is dumb. If I could get myself outside of dead white range, then we'd be o maybe we'd be okay. Ooh. Ooh. No! Um, well, if I keep out the island, then I'll be able to use Brazen Borrower. But I maybe should have kept that for the scry. Alright. Pass! Yeah, yeah. So this will buy me a turn from Negate. Ah, uh, that's getting to be a problem. We're almost there, folks. This looks like a really cool deck. The grinding... Oh, no. Oh, no. Alright, and then they just do it again. Oh, no, that was the one they cast... Okay, okay. They'll still have enough cards in their grave that they can do it again. But how many is it? XL2. Oh, good God. Alright. Whee! <laughs> and then they can just... <laughs> Luris is back, so they can just do it again. 9-11. I'm recording this on 9-11. Let's see. Jeez. I'm trying, folks. <laughs> you know what? Unfortunately, I'm just gonna call it here. Unfortunately. Maybe I shouldn't have, but at that point, since they get to kill a creature every turn and they were about to put lifelink on a huge creature and I've already, already used the one Brazen Borrower. I'm gonna say that one's probably a no-go. I'll keep it up, though. I think that there must have been something I could have done to improve that game. Although my opponent was just, that's not an easy deck to play. Shoutouts to someone who actually puts up with a deck like that. Like, genuine, like, no, not, not joking. That's actually kind of kind of sick. Alright, so we're going to actually play the temple first, because even if we play the two territories, we wouldn't actually be able to use the Benthic Biomancer's ability on the next turn anyway. We wouldn't have the blue for it. That's something I could have done. Actually, I could have done that correctly. Okay. So, Silvergill. Reveal Silvergill. It gives the least information possible. It makes it look like that's the most likely card that I'll have. Thank you. I, I don't remember if I said hello, so I'm gonna say hello. Ooh, ooh, okay. Uh, 
Huh. Well. Oh, I should have said spirit. Well, I, I still have a chance. No, it's fine. Yeah. The music is making me doubt myself, too. This is gonna be terrible. Spirit. Okay. Got it. Alright. Hiya. Okay. If I don't play the Adept, they know that something's going on. Draw your second card each turn. Yeah. I'll take a turn off of it now. Well, no. Yeah. I'll take a turn off of it now. Since I already gave that bit away. Alright. And it gives me a chance to draw one land closer to getting that Coco mana up. Once I have Coco and Negate, we should be in a pretty decent spot. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Any target. Jeez. Okay. Uh, that's a problem. A little bit. It's a little bit of a problem. Hiya. Okay. Let's see if there's anything that they would like to do. Nope, just take the two. I could play Kira here to make a Pyromancer whiff, and since that's only your second card, it wouldn't actually like it would stop it for good. It would stop it for the turn. Um What's this again? 2 2. Well, I don't have any lords right now. Oh, I want to be careful here. I know that something that's negate worthy is coming up, but I'm going to play Kira just to make Pyromancer whiff. That'll help protect my lords later on when I do find them off of Coco. I have negate, but I'm playing proactively. I'm not giving my opponent. It's, it's fine. I'm letting my opponent play out what they need. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So this actually will get through Kira. Let's see if they put them both on Kira. They will. Okay, good. First one pops it, second one kills it. Okay. Well, that could have gone better. Had I held negate, then we wouldn't have to worry about the opt killing it there, but that's going to happen eventually. Oh boy. Okay, so we have that. Gah! That's a problem. Okay. Uro. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That is going to be their second card, so I need to fire off Trickster. Uh, maybe I'm supposed to hit... Um, they're getting a lot of mana. That's a problem. Second card is turn. This will let me keep one extra creature out. triple Coco in hand. If I can just wait a little, if I can make it a little bit longer, maybe I'll be all right. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This, this is not going well, folks. Okay. We have Coco at least. Pass. For the love of God, please. I mean, it is what their deck is designed to do, and they don't have enough for Uro yet, but I'm sure that they're getting there. Alright. Thrill of Possibility. I should negate- Oh, they have no more cards in hand! Okay, I can negate this. Alright. Alright. 
let's at least see what the next card's going to be. Ah, uh, Trickster. Yeah, let's, let's discard the speaker. I can't keep doing this. Alright. The cards is at five. That's counting Uro. Alright, no blocks. Oh my god, okay. Well, here goes. Four Cocos. Alright, that's good. That's good. They still don't have enough to use that just yet. Alright. Okay, that's what I was worried about. Wait, do I not get to play Coco in response? Am I missing something here? There it goes, okay. I was I was trying, I was hoping I was going to get a chance to play Coco there. Alright. So let them create the fairy first. They'll create a 2-2. Targeting you. Okay. Let's see what I can get. Ah! Oh. Well, it doesn't matter if it's a trigger, so this is one instance where Kapala ends up not being as good. Alright. Yeah. That was not what I was... I was hoping that I could respond to it, but for some reason I don't think it gave me an option. Unless I missed something, it, I don't think it gave me an option there. Okay. We need to hurry. Oh my goodness. So I could play Mistbinder and then Trickster, and that's four mana worth, just like Coco would have. It gets some of my creatures outside of that range, at least. Or I could risk it on the Coco there. We know that the... No, we don't. Yeah, we do. They can just get rid of Uro to make Uro escape. Huh. Okay. Well... I may have to risk it on two lords, actually. Finding two lords off of Coco. Which is pretty unlikely at this point. Yeah, let's try. Alright. <laughs> no! Now they don't even have to get rid of Uro. <sighs> These are thought-intensive games. I love this. I love magic so much. Alright. As expected. Um, yeah. I'm a little worried it's not going to give me the option again, but I think... Alright, so here's where it would do it. Yeah, let, let's do it now. See if we can at least find Trickster. If not, do, okay. So we found Lord Trickster. That's, that's good. That's good. So this will tap down one of them. So I'll get to keep one of my lords. The other one will die, unfortunately. Now this would be a matchup where Tempest Caller would be significantly better than Coco. Even though I have all four of them, Tempest Caller, once I build- well no, that's not true, because Caller lets me swing through all their creatures, but that doesn't matter if I don't have that critical mass first. Hmm. And first strike, jeez. I'm probably just going to call it. I mean, I'll, I'll keep playing it out. You win 0% of the games where you concede, but it's not looking great for the home team. Ah. Jeez. Still comes in tap. It totally matters. Alright, let's try to do something proactive here. Oh, you idiot! I can't... When they enter the battlefield off of Coco, I don't get to tap down with Mir Mir Miro Regery. Not that I had lethal anyway, though, so... Uh, yeah. It would have been Mistbinder Trickster, which taps down one, two, three, and they have one, two, three, four, and that leaves, yeah, Fairy. Alright. Good game. Yeah, it didn't matter that time anyway. I gave my opponent too much time to set up. And the, the mana base is messing me up. I. 
probably should work on... I should probably should take out those temples and replace them with basics. Those coming in tapped is not only a problem in and of itself, it's making the hinterland harbors come in tapped. And that is slowing me down a good bit. Uh. Let's do it. I am a little worried about Trickster. Making Trickster work, though. Alright. Goodbye, Jojo. Maybe I should have kept one in. Alright. Here goes. Right. I still have six one drops. Okay. Well, and then this happens. Of course it does. Of course. The moment. That's okay. We have Silvergill to draw a card. We have Brazen Borrower and Negate to stall for time. But we get. And we found one. Okay, good. Alright. Bluff. Something else. Okay. Um, in that case... Maybe I would like to just use Brazen Borrower to slow them down, but that slows me down too. I should wait to use the Brazen Borrower until they have a bigger creature, and then work at it from there. So, Silvergill, reveal the only one I have. Okay. <sighs> yeah, I could definitely have played this better, for sure. Dinosaur, yeah, no, no kidding. I would hope so. Oh boy. Uh oh. Uh oh. Marauding Raptor. Oh boy. Uh, no. Let's let that through. Oh dear. Yeah, that's an issue. That's a 3-3, and that's going to get huge too. So I can play Forest. Let's see. So if I play Forest Speaker Mistbinder, that's, that's okay. And this is not going to be a very creature-heavy matchup, so I don't need to hold up Negate too strongly. This will create a little bit of a wall, hopefully. Alright, and then we'll pass. Because I have Coco in hand, too, if I need to, I can trade. No matter what... Oh, that's hexproof. So I can't use... can't use Borrower on it anyway. Okay. Huh. Silvergill Borrower? How many cards? Two? It'll be three. Um, hmm. It did have... Uh, okay, it can give a Dinosaur Haste. Sorry, what? Okay, there we go. Ah! Oh, because I have no other merfolk. That's why it doesn't have it shown. Alright. Well, in that case, there's no point. We'll wait. Alright. See what they have going on. Okay. It's a lot of lands. Uh, we actually can use... Negate here. I don't know that I was expecting that. Actually, I was not expecting that. Okay. Uh, in this case, I might want to use Brazen Borrower to tap or to return Huntmaster to hand so that it can't get haste. Because now they don't have... No, they would have to tap down the Drover to make it work. So they can still give it haste. They'll have to tap down Drover. 
That was dumb. Actually, yeah, that was dumb. That was not the right target. Okay, um... Well, that's pro blue, so... With one card in hand, and I know what it is, reveal... We're just gonna try to go wide here. Make a big, big board. Big ol' board. Punish them when they let Carnage Tyrant attack. Okay. Let's see what I get off of this. Ooh, no! <laughs> Ooh, no! Okay. No, we wait. I sleep. So now we have a branch walker that can actually kill a ceratops. Ooh. Awkward. Oops. Awkward. Merfolk. Alright. We'll wait. We can afford to keep waiting. We have Negate Coco up. Negate and Coco. Commune. Let's hit that. That's a f kind of countering a creature. It, it stalls for a little while. Let's see. Got a stupid song stuck in my head. And I hate it. <laughs> okay, so what are we tapping down? Uh, we can't tap down... Oh! Okay. Okay. Yeah, we just... We ended up being the... Not the bigger, but the wider cre uh, creature deck. And that'll do it, I suppose. Yeah, Coco, turns out it's okay. Alright, so what's this? Hey, another. Oh, I have seen you before. That's right. Hmm. Draw a card. You know, you know, that could be like a blue Tetsuko. And I like Tetsuko, or a red Tetsuko. Blue, Tetsuko's blue. And I like Tetsuko. Uh, Tetsuko is a 1-3 that says that creatures you control with power or toughness, one or less, can't be blocked. Well, this is power two or less can't be blocked. And I might like that. I might try to find a way to make that work. You use it with, uh, for instance, fire breathing or double strike or just anything to make the creature bigger uh, after that doesn't increase their power or that increases it at instant speed so you can do it after you've attacked. Good times. Good times. Alright, we'll keep playing though. Might as well. I, I need to get two more for the, the four wins I try to get every day. This has taken a little long. We're an hour in and only two wins though. Not only two wins. Granted, those have been some long games, but geez. Sad man is sad. I'm sorry, I cry every time. Alright. Let's see. The only reason to play Hinterland Harbor here first is that if I draw a Breeding Pool or Island, I'll be able to play a Trickster out early. But that's not really worth it because I have a two drop no matter what. It's Mistbinder. I don't think that that's where I need to be. So we say hello. Ah, we have an. Oh. Okay. Well, <laughs> let's get a move on. This, this is going to go quickly. I strongly suspect. Oh my face! Ah! There you were, there's Breeding Pool. Well... Oops. Um... Pass? Oh, you idiot. I was just thinking about, had the Hinterland Harbor been played first, then I could have used uh, Breeding Pool there. And gotten the Trickster. And... <laughs> my mind was in the realm of the hypothetical. Okay. Well, thankfully, we're not getting punished for it yet. Yet. But that's... <laughs> I can't afford to do that. If I win now, it'll be in spite of that. Because now my opponent has counter, man <laughs> counter magic mana. Good times. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <sighs> oh. 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 Oh, that felt good. Oh, my back. Alright. I'm having a good time. 
I'm, I'm beating myself, but I'm having a good time at it. So then next turn, I guess I'll play Water Trap Weaver to tap down their Mana Dork. Hopefully deprive them of a little bit of mana. If they counter this, at least they just countered a Weaver. Who knows? Okay. Looks like they're letting this happen. And they didn't seem to have Uro in hand. That's always fun. What's it going to be? Brazen Barber. Okay. Uh, sure. Go for it. Cool. Ah. So I guess the state that we would be in is actually probably pretty similar, because if I play the Mistbinder, maybe they use Borrower to return it and then play Borrower out. So, it might have kind of, maybe, sort of worked out. Not really. I'm justifying it post hoc. Alright, that resolved way too quickly. They don't have counter magic. Which makes sense, it's a Lanarar Elves deck, but still. Alright, so if they don't have counters in hand... Oh boy. And Barbara can only block creatures with flying, so none of my deck. Uh, Kira and Brazen Barbara, but none of the Merfolk in my deck. I do genuinely like Brazen Borrower. I think it's probably a little... <laughs> it's a little too good, but it's not ban-worthy. It's, it's creeped. It's two really good cards. Well, yeah, yeah. A fairy with flash and flying for three mana, even if it can only block creatures with flying, is still okay. Tack onto that a... Uh, what is it? Like a two-mana chain of vapor. I don't know. I will say Echoing Truth, but that bounces all of them. I don't know. It's nice. It's nice and versatile. Alright, what's it going to be? Ooh, okay, Crisis for three. So we tap it down. Alright, oh, uh, they're tapped out, so we might as well just play everything out. Yeah, let's do it. Alright. Play it out now. Might as well. In case they have another Brazen Bar, that actually won't do much to them. They'll still have mana. Um, but it makes it cost four. <laughs> At least there's that. So right now we are representing Lethal. I'm sure that they have some trick. I'm positive they have some trick. Okay, so there's regular Uro, it goes to 8. Let's see. Since they can't block with the Borrower, they can only block with the 2. They block the two biggest creatures and still take 10, so far. So far. I have no 1 drops, so Blast Zone doesn't kill anything. Well, of mine, it kills their Llanowar Elves. Um, okay. Blast Zone on any number will kill something on their side. Alright, they have a trick. I can feel it in my bones! Okay. Alright. Okay, okay. Sad man is much more sad now at this point. Much sadder at this point. <laughs> okay. So I, I suppose that that change was probably appropriate, getting rid of the temples in place of more basics. It might matter for Merfolk Trickster, but otherwise... Well, not might. It will matter for Merfolk Trickster, um, and then occasionally for Kira and Brazen Barrer, but otherwise it should be alright. Uh, those two because I can't use Unclaimed Territory for them. Oh, hi. Okay, so they go first. We'll see what they play first. It's a Gigantha deck, so probably not... <laughs> Wrath of God language, Bantu's Last Reckoning, and da 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 Okay, not, none of those. Alright, so play Island first, hold full control. Make it seem like I might have an opt. 
Oh. Okay. Okay. Well. Uh, if I play the Adept, there is no way that's going to work out for me. Um, they're going to kill it and then keep swinging through with a Butcher. Which actually is probably okay, now that I think about it. Um, okay. Let's see. No, we will pass it right along and play the Trickster to tap it down. I can use Borrower to reset it. Alright. Uh, no. No, you don't. Alright. There we go. Okay. Neat. Alright. So I can go... Silvergill, Kumina's Speaker. But none of them will be big enough to take out the Devil. Uh, I can go Regery, and I can trade with the Devil. Can't do much about the Butcher until I bounce it, though. And this Regery is just dead, though, actually. This Regery is just straight up dead. I have a sneaking suspicion that's not going to work out. Oh, boy. Okay, we're gonna hold up Barber. Please play something in your main phase. Please. Tap yourself out so you can't play Butcher again. Or at least so that you can't attack. Well, that wouldn't matter too much. Okay, that, that counts. That's good. Alright, so now I can bounce either Butcher or Devil, but I need to bounce something. I can't bounce Woe Strider. Maimed devil. Alright, so they'll attack with Butcher. I think. No! Okay, I'm glad to be wrong in this case. Okay. Hokai. So, not a creature deck. Negate's not doing me a lot of good. I guess I could go wide here. It'll give me a chance to draw a card and try to draw into a land and or coca. Well, eventually, <laughs> it can't be and. I draw one card for this. Hey, thank you. Aha! Aha, He-Man! <laughs> I'm silly. I'm silly. I'm okay with that. I want to be a little bit careful here. Um, you know what? YOLO. <laughs> I want to be careful. YOLO. It's okay. They block with the goat. Sack it. Oh, okay, okay. That's fine. If they had sacked the goat here, then they wouldn't be able to use it with the devil. Sack, the, sack it with the devil. Oh, no! Oh, Jay. Jay. No, they can play Mayhem Devil here. Sack the goat. Kill the adept. Oh, boy. No, okay. They're just building a wall. Big, beautiful wall. However he does it. He has some weird hand thing. He does. I don't understand. I don't pretend to understand. Okay. Yeah. I, I, despite what I said earlier, I'm going to hold up that negate. Um, I need to be careful here. I, I would like to put some pressure on. Without Coco, I don't have something to speed up my clock all of a sudden. But I have Negate too, so if they have like Witch's Oven, I'll be able to counter that. Alright, so they sack Goat, deal one damage, Oh, there we go, Butcher! Oh, it hits Regery! And then I lose my Kumina Speaker. Okay, that's not necessarily a bad thing. They lost their creature in exchange for killing one of my creatures. So, 
I'm not necessarily against that. Another instance where Kapala would not have helped, unfortunately, because it's a trigger. Alright, well that's a problem. Okay. Witches of it, no, claim. Hey! I'm okay with that. Because of Woe Strider, they would have not just attacked me with it, but also also sacked it as well. Jeez. Yeah, you get a nice for that. You definitely get a nice for that. Okay, well that's a problem. Now I'm left with no board. Dude. Itchy nose. Uh-oh. Basically no board. <sighs> Coco, please. Coco, please. <laughs> I'm too good. I'm too good, folks. <laughs> That's all that is. It's skill. No, it's... All right. Well, then. Uh... Let's see if we can get them to go to... Uh, of course. Is there anything that I could do here? It's too late for Kira. Because it's already targeting them. We let it go. And then we play Coco. In my defense, when was the last time that you saw that happen? Uh oh. Oh no, so if I. So I can block the speaker, but if I don't also block the devil and the woe strider, like. I, I could die here if I block the speaker but let the other two through. Because then they uh, sack speaker one damage, sack woe strider one damage. So we have to do it this way. Do they have enough to. Uh, let's find out. So then we could just go back to a clean board. Alright, here goes. That's one. Yeah, but they're actually getting the, the, to scry. They get much better draws here. Alright, look how many cards they have in their hand. Dear God. Alright, you first. And then Miss Binder. Which doesn't matter for claim, because they actually have the mana. They can still play a fourth claim if they have it. Okay, Frixing Tower. That's good. Not on an empty board, but <laughs> it's alright. I haven't seen Thoughtseize yet, and I've seen three claim the Firstborn. Historic meta 101. If you're playing black, you play Thoughtseize. It is, like, even though I don't play Thoughtseize too much myself, it is just a really good card. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Well. Uh... We can play the borrower and try to poke them with it, but that's not going to get me there. They have all the mana that they could ever need, which means they can actually get this Woe Strider out now. They use Tower to sack the goat, and then they have five mana, and that's an hour this happens, I guess. Or this happens. Or jeez. Or jeez. Ah ha 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 ha. I'm real mature. Yeah, you know, it doesn't matter. I can't block anyway. Okay. Well, we're post-combat and they're tapped out. I have a sneaking suspicion that they're done. Alright, so Borrower, because I have it, might as well. Please don't draw another land. Okay, it's not all skill. <laughs> as it turns out, not all skill. Alright, you ready for the yellow strats? Lurgoyf. Let's go. <laughs> All right. So they can sack to kill the Brazen Barber. Or not. They can not instead, actually. That works.
The fact that Coppola isn't working on triggers is certainly a problem a decent bit of the time, unfortunately. But it is a merfog, so it benefits from merfog buffs. And the ability will overlap with uh, Kira. When the two of them are together, you're usually in a really good spot. Well, I say that, and then you get hit by Wrath of God, and it doesn't matter. Oh, okay. They didn't fire at the Mistfinder or the Borrower. Interesting. That's why. Oh my god. Yep, that's a good game. They got me. They got me. <sighs> da -da 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 -da. <laughs> We're still going. We need one more win. And maybe we can get it before the hour and a half mark. Alright. Please, come on. Come on. Alright. Let the hair down. That's the secret. There we go. Gotta have that mountain man look. So, Evangeline really likes the beer. Like, she's had beard envy for Hi Byron, again, basically forever. She loves doing this. I have a video of her, not even a year old, doing this, me pulling on it, me letting her do that because she's precious to me. Uh, yeah, she really likes the beard. And I also have a video of her uh, crying, unfortunately, because she didn't. She, I shaved my beard and she didn't like that. So I try to keep it. And I try to keep my beard. But doesn't work too well with a mask, unfortunately. Oh, okay, so they take the branch walker. I believe... Well, I don't know what else is in their hand. Kira might... Yeah, okay, Kira's good. Without knowing what else was going on, I would think branch walker's right, because I only had two lands. Okay. Graveyard. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Coco. I need a land. At least I get two creatures next turn, but I do need to watch out. Given those colors, I really do need to watch out. Alright. Hiya. Let it through. And you. And you. Alright, so that's pretty big. We'll hold up uh, Biomancer's ability for the next turn so that we don't have to overextend our board. And we can try to find another land. Ah! Are you serious? Main board Witch's Vengeance. I mean, yeah, oof. Alright, reveal one of the ones they know about. Yeah, so I will end up having to cut this. It'll make me look significantly younger, I guarantee you. Alright. There we go. Do it again. Hit me for the, with a two for one. Come on! Come on! Oh yeah, because these aren't islands. Nice. I've come across that quite a bit myself as well. Yeah. It'll... Yeah, so without all this, it'll make me look a good bit younger. Okay, so two mana left. No reason not to try one. I do admittedly envy the days of people thinking that I would, like asking me what year I was in college. That hasn't happened for some time now, so I'm gonna, yeah, there we go, that's what I was expecting. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that era of my life is probably done. Um, especially with these, that doesn't help either. Vizier of Many Faces, copy of, oh, interesting. Interesting, all right. Hmm, that's going to prove tricky, I suspect. Three, all right. Hmm, let's see what else. Okay. I would like to play a, a Regery. Uh, they're just going to use that to block there. Ah, uh, this is going to get me hit by another Wrath. I can just feel it. I can feel it coming. going to hold it up. This is probably wrong, but I, I'm going to try it. Okay. She makes a Zamboni. Turn target creature from the graveyard to the battlefield. Okay. The good news, I don't, she doesn't have any yet. Yet. We're getting there, though. Well, if I had played the Regery first, then I could have used Trickster to tap both of them down and then kill the Liliana here. Take her off the field. 
Um, but I, I played too conservatively there. Okay, sure. So we want to tap down the adept because that's a creature and they can use that they can get that back. Okay. Reachery, do your thing. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright, so there's no way on God's Green Earth that they don't block with this token. If I attack with everything, they use it to block the Silvergill Adept. And then I lose it. Well, I don't know, I might be able to trick them into blocking with the Biomancer. I guess it's possible, but I need to get this Lillian off the board pronto. Please block Biomancer. Please. And please miss that it has an ability. Okay. Yeah. That's that's fair. So let's let's kill her. No matter what this is, I have to discard it, but that'll give me lethal damage. Boop. At least it was just a land. One weakness of Merfolk is that it doesn't have graveyard synergies, so. I do need to watch out for that. They're getting to the point where they have enough lands left over. They can scry with Castle Vantress. They can scry with Treasure Map. Oh my goodness. Yeah, when they just attack rampantly like that, you know there's a Wrath coming. That's a problem, folks. At least they don't have a Planeswalker, but they have extra cards in hand. And they have a creature with Embalm. Mm, Eternalize. Embalm, okay. Well, I mean, they know about it, so... Uh, what is it this time? Ape. <laughs> when I have that many lands, I might as well. I'm not going to find double Trickster anymore. With no cards in hand. Alright, so that's an issue. Thankfully it comes in tap, but jeez. Oh, so I don't think we're going to beat it, beat it in the half hour mark. One and a half hour mark, yeah. Alright. I'll give it one more turn. That'll hopefully give me an idea for how this will pan out. They only have blue mana open. And I'm well outside of, what is it, Quelch range. Quench. Quelch? Alright. I should take a look to see if Teferi is one of the free avatars. I may... Maybe I would like to switch to him at some point. Karn is pretty cool. Sad Karn, because he has the tear under his eye. Uh, you know what? We have no choice. Let's do it. What is it? Speaker. I guess. Alright! So, draw a card? No! I'm sorry, what are you? Sacrament. Search your library for a car. Ah oh, ha! I'm. Uh, sec another cre Yeah, okay. So they don't have another creature yet. Oh, but they can. Alright, wait. How much mana is this? Five? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Okay, so they can go and get Languish, so that's game. Good game. They have enough to do all of that, unfortunately. Yeah, that's a problem. I, I am assuming that they have another Languish. To be fair, they might not, but I think that that's a reasonable assumption. Alright, one more. I need one more win, and then we'll be good. We'll be done. This thing is huge. So there's a little bit of a story behind this 30-ounce thermos. Now, my sister and I have been engaged in a war. <laughs> uh, giving each other, we both are <laughs> coffee aficionados. Not, not quite connoisseurs, but uh, we really like our coffee. And I don't even know who started it, but we've been giving each other progressively bigger <laughs> uh, uh, thermoses. Right now I'm winning. She has a 40 ounce one from me, and I'm just waiting to see the next stage of. She'll have, eventually we're going to get two oil drums <laughs> full of coffee. You'll get to see me just try to... <laughs> I'll have to beat Zongya before I can get there. Before I can just lift it up. 
Alright, okay. That's not good. It would have been nice to have negate for either one of those. Uh, it doesn't really matter. We don't need to hold up negate here because they're just going to play a creature next time. So I guess we'll just reveal the adept. Now importantly, this one only cares about being the target of a spell, so Trickster won't trigger it. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> it's a very technical term, whatever. I understand this is supposed to be one of Goblin's better matchup. Well, not Goblin's, the Chain Whirler Goblin's better matchups. Okay, I need to do something soon. Um, I can play Reachery. Uh, I can play Trickster here and then play Reachery on the next turn and try to just swing in like that. That would let this come in tapped. Ah, uh, I don't know. That's, I'm going to say that that's right because they don't have a lot of power on board right now. So pass it right along. They are going to get a 4-3 out though during this turn. This also lets me hold up Negate, not that it matters at all, because that was going to be the play. Alright, let's tap you down. Tap you down, bud. Oh boy. Okay. Well... Ah, uh, well it's post-combat, so gee, I wonder what that one's getting. Okay, so I can go Reachery, wait. They'll only really be able to attack profitably with the beast. Everything else has to wait its turn. Alternatively, I could go Adept and hold up Trickster. That'd be interesting. But then the two three toughness creatures are going to be a problem. Yeah, at this point we need to go for Reachery to hopefully dissuade them from attacking with anything but the 5-5. Five five. Hopefully. I guess if they don't, we can make it work, but it's not... Ideal. Aha, that's a 4-4. Four four. Yeah. Oh! Let's go. There's something else. Wait, this is a Bone Crusher. There's no way that's not a Bone Crusher. I, I can feel it coming. Well, okay. Just to be on the safe side. Wait. Uh, yeah. I don't know, in case they mess up somehow. Okay, so it wasn't a bone crusher. Well, it's the, it's stomp, right, is the other side? Scoos. Okay, yeah, stomp. Stomp the yard. Oh boy. Yeah, they had extra mana. Hi, Lana War. Okay, okay now. Um. Jeez. Jeez, a Louise. Luigi. That's Mama Luigi. We're actually going to hold back the Silver Gill Adept, uh, which is going to give away that I have something going on, obviously. Right. Uh, I can go here. It doesn't matter, I'm not attacking this turn. Oh, you know what? Let's do it. It's going to give away that the trickster's coming, but I'm going to play it on their upkeep anyway. So, that'll work out, I guess. Aha! Oh my goodness. Are we going to get somewhere with this? This looks so stupid. Alright, not the same one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I don't know which one. Uh... Crap. Okay, good, good. Alright, I'm glad that that works. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're going to have a stupidly big swing on the next turn. Let's do 
this pass, how many creatures are in the yard? I may actually want to hit the Scoos instead. Yeah, we do. We actually want to hit Scoos here. Scoos can get even bigger, though. That's the issue. Uh, yeah. So let's tap you down. Tap you down. Tap you down. Whee! Alright, so the float man off the land of our elves. Always float the mana on Llanowar Elf because then it gives the opponent the option to untap your creature, and if they if they mess up, then you're okay. All right. So the only thing that won't get tapped down is the Gruel Spellbreaker, which is okay because I have a five five to their four four. Okay. So, so whatever they want to eat, they have to eat now. They also could have used the green to eat something with Scoos. So, all right. Oops. Okay. Now they can draw. All right. We might make it! We might make it! Yes! That should not have worked! <laughs> but Triple Reachery will do it! There, that that should not have worked, folks. <laughs> but Merfolk is a, is a silly lord deck. There's a reason I play Merfolk. I get to do stuff like that. I uh, didn't quite make the hour and a half mark, but we finally got four wins. Jeez, that felt like it took forever. Probably because it did. The games were long. Um, if I'd like to play something really fast, I'd play like mono white auras or, I mean, if I had the cards for it, goblins or something like that. Merfolk is one of the grindier uh, tribal decks, I suppose. It's like Merfolk and zombies can take a while. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, there's that. Ta-da! <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed that silliness. I certainly did. Take care, Magic Community, and I will see you all later. Bye-bye. <laughs>